you guys know on my channel, I don't fuck around. I give you the juicy shit. I give you the behind the scenes, raw, uncut footage, unblurred footage of exactly what it takes to run an agency. And today, in this video, it's fucking Christmas for you guys. Merry Christmas! Christy, May got you a dildo. Today, we have a proud member of 300 agencies. His name is Samuel Darby. He runs an agency making around a million dollars a year. He has around 40 clients. He's in the construction, repair, and roofing niche. And if there's any video about SMMA right now that you should be watching to the end, it's this one. Because Samuel is literally gonna go inside his ad account, show the exact ads he's running to get his own clients, a little bit about how he runs his agency from the inside. He's just literally doing a screen share showing everything. So I dare you watch this video to the end, especially when Samuel dives into the detailed frameworks on how he gets his clients. So with that being said, you guys are in for the best video of your life. I'm not even joking. Um, so cue the interview. All right, guys, so we're here with Sam. He has an agency in the roofing space, uh, has around 40 clients. Is that right? Yeah, anywhere from 35 to 40. Um, yeah, and in this video, he's going to break down um, how his agency, a little bit about how his agency works and how he actually gets results for his clients. So, yeah, take it away. Yeah, cool. Um, so we're actually not just roofing. So we do we do have some roofing clients, but it's mainly um, like U UK home improvements companies. So we always focus on one product at a time. So we've got anywhere at any one time we've got anywhere from 25 to 40 companies kind of a bit high a bit on the higher end um now but over the last kind of year or two it's kind of climbed from uh 10 to 15 clients up to 40 and um we do products like into conservatory insulation very boring products resin insulation um you know home exterior wall coatings insulation that kind of stuff very boring products but order values between sort of 3,020 to 25,000 pounds. And um, um, this is a great industry to be in because obviously the clients that we work with are, um, they need the work continuously coming in. So we essentially provide them with work. So we, I think in 2021, we had about 25 to 30 clients average across the year. And I think we generated about 15 to 20 million pounds worth of revenue for them. And that was, um, so it worked wow. out somewhere in the region of like, yeah, like 45 to 55,000 per month per client, uh, which obviously if you're working in like a dental or um, any other market, like a local market, you're just not going to have numbers that large. Yeah. Because construction and home improvements, the trade industry is, uh, you're working with larger order values. The numbers are much more uh, kind of inflated, but obviously yeah. the margins are like um 20%. So if you're selling mm. a five grand roof, it's like a, a 1000 pound margin. So obviously bear that in mind. Um but yes, yeah, so we've got one side of our business which is the um agency side and it's I think quite similar to Thomas what you guys do. It's retainer based mainly. I think you guys have we have performance on the front end. So the first month it's like performance kind of weighted. So we kind of um we have like 30 day guarantees based on performance. So we do we do get paid up front. But um, we've been going now for like four years and we've got like 40 video testimonials, like seven figure video testimonials, multiple six figure video testimonials. So like, it's a lot easier now for me to take money off up front from people. Um, it used to be yeah. a bit weighted on the back end, but now we've got that kind of credibility and it's a lot easier for me to take money up front. So we charge retainer based anywhere from 1500 pounds a month plus taxes to like, I think maybe three to 4,000 a month. And we work with like, 30 to 40 companies and the other side of the business that we've kind of started doing over the last two to three months is like high volume paper appointment um selling so rather than retaining clients we're going after bigger companies we're advertising our own brands so if you think like tom.co.uk car wow um we buy any car like all of these kinds of companies that kind of front and brands that then um work with partners on the back end so for example we started working with an insulation company um we're selling them on a per appointment basis. So we cover all the advertising costs, all the marketing costs. We run all the ads. We design all the funnels. We um, film all the content, produce all the ads. And we actually do, I can go into more about that in a minute, but we do a lot of the content ourselves. And then we then use like a lead distribution software to then take the lead from the form capture, the questionnaire survey, whatever, and send it to the client. The client then books that um, lead in for an appointment. And then we get paid on every set appointment. Um, and um and it's a lot more lucrative so you know 
these people will pay 150 pounds per appointment and you know we can be selling anywhere from 25 to 50 a week per per client so you're yeah. talking like three or four or five times the revenue per client as compared to like agency retainer mm. um so with these um i suppose a lot of your viewers are like getting started maybe a big beginning stages you're always going to make if you're good at what you do you're always going to make more money on a performance model um it's a lot easier for them to trust you yeah. because you're selling something that they, ha- they don't have yet and you're kind of guaranteeing you're going to deliver it so it's a lot easier for you to make more money and they are a lot, oftentimes a lot happy to give that money over once you've helped them generate that amount of revenue so it's like it's you have to be good at what you do but yeah. it's it's a lot more lucrative for you in the long term so we're kind of moving into that market now um i'm trying to think of exactly what you might be most useful for you guys to show you shall i kind of um pull up a kind of how it what we do and how it works i kind of pull up my website or what do you you think is most useful yeah yeah sure i mean i saw your website it's it's you know we can kind of understand like if you see your website why you're able to get clients you just have like the video sales letter which is like very short like we can guarantee you um basically results and then you have like like a long list of testimonials and like really good testimonials where you have people saying they've had an excellent experience with you they've made like this amount of money um, yeah. so yeah, I mean, let, let's go through your website. I think that could be very useful for people. Okay, cool. If you said enable screen share, I'll do that now. Oh yeah. My bad. I think I'll, um, I'll, um, I'll go through what we do as a company for our clients, but I mean, obviously people have asked me a lot. I've just spoken to people before about what we do in the agency space and more often than not, they're kind of attracted to our like acquisition strategy because just to give you some context over the last sort of. I don't know, three to four years, we probably spent somewhere in the region of 70 to 80,000 pounds on advertising for our own company. I think actually we lost an ad account. So let me see if I can pull it up. Mm. I'll see if I can pull it up. I might not be able to. That's crazy. You have to search up up. ad accounts. (laughs) Oh, do you not have to do that anymore? No, um, like you have so many, you have to like search one. Oh yeah, yeah. (laughs) It's probably a hundred in there. That's crazy. Um, Yeah. Um, So yeah, so we've spent... This is an old ad account. It got disabled, as you can see, at to um, oh, it sounds it looks like it maybe isn't disabled anymore. But anyway, it, it, I can't use it. Um, we we spent like seventy six k. We've got a new one now. Um, but like, just to give context, our our agency does somewhere in the region of, I don't know, in dollars maybe like eight hundred thousand to a million dollars a year, and it's kind of growing. We're increasing that. We, we want to push that um to you know this year kind of want to, with the paper appointment model our goal is to get to like multiple six figures a month by christmas mm-hmm. so that's kind of our plan yeah but like in terms of the agency side like we've spent over 76k on ads and we've generated and it's turned that you know into i would say 70 80 percent of our clients have come from facebook ads now it's a lot more word of mouth and a lot more kind of we built that reputation up we get more organic traffic and we also have a big email database that we can um you know run yeah. like email broadcasts like case studies so the easiest way to get clients is like if you've got a once you've been going a little while and you built up a little bit of an email email database i think a lot of agencies sleep on email mm. like we've got four thousand builders basically on our email database i can send a broadcast out that's like a case study so i can i can get on a zoom call with the client they say oh i've done you know 100 grand since working with you great i record it um i then put it put it into wistia i send that video to my email database and say how grant closed over a hundred thousand pounds you know, in six weeks or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, every time I do that, I get like five to 20 book calls and I get like three or four deals. Like so easy. Yeah. And are those emails coming from those, from the Facebook ads you're running? Um, Mainly, mean, right? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So the email options you mean? Yeah. Yeah. So let me, uh, let me pull up some examples. So, uh, so we've kind of, yeah, we've kind of swapped, swapped um, funnels. We kind of, alternated between strategies but if anyone who knows facebook ads this is obviously a like a a lead opt-in funnel i'll show you the ads i don't mind um but this one we spent like 5k um 1800 email opt-ins and this was probably the longest one we had running which was like a not straight to call so our ads kind of alternate between lead lead funnel um let me just show you because it's really hard to explain yeah sure sure so because we know email so like uh profitable and lucrative uh for us this is a really bad, embarrassing ad, but it's basically Great like talking about, yeah, exactly. So, um, 
I'm giving away an ad uh, swipe file. So um, I just basically say, get our top 10 best performing Facebook ads for construction businesses. And I just say each one of these ads made over 100K in sales, which is like completely true. Um, I just basically went through our clients and picked, hand picked the top five to 10 Facebook ads, like creatives that just like blew up and each one of them got like 100 leads. So um, it links to a yeah really simple opt-in page like this with a bit of a sales script. Um, once they then download this, they pop mm. their email address in, download. Um, that goes straight to my email um convert kit account. So I can then I send them into like a 10 email um, I guess sales script, like oh, pause that, like a 10 email sequence over the Yeah, like a drip like, campaign. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I'm probably gonna get loads of people opt in on this now. Uh <laughs> but yeah, over the course of like 14 days, and each one of those has a piece of content, a case study, and then a call to action that call to action is always the same. So I have exactly the same entry point, which is like an application form, same one that's on our website. So if you go to our website, um, it's exactly the same. Here we go. So this one of these here is just using like a simple survey builder. Um, yeah. So I find that information about them, like, you know, size of business, how many teams they've got, what their problem is, what their revenue was. It's really important to me. If their revenue is like under 300,000 and they don't, you know, it doesn't fit certain kind of, criteria i will just cancel the call it's been off um so i'm really looking for those companies that have revenues that are well north of three hundred thousand, ideally north of a million but so i kind of handpicked them really yeah we go back here um and then from here yeah booking the free course the same survey mm. once they complete that survey it then redirects to a calendly link they book in the calendly call and um and from there i'll then um close them on a, you know some sort of retainer um and I kind of have, I might as well just show it all to you. I'm pretty much giving it all away, to be honest. Um, my demo page, rather than, I, t I do an intro call on the phone. So it's 15 minutes. I qualify the lead. Um, I don't actually mind showing you that, actually, if I can show it to you. So if I pull up that in Go High Level, I use pretty much the same kind of Go High Level snapshot for myself as I do for our clients, because it's very basic. It's like an, a simple pipeline. Yeah. Um, and each, each stage of the pipeline, the leads kind of get, contact in different ways so if i go to yes my, this is my 2.0 part of my new apartment I, I recently changed so yeah they book an intro call in here as you can see there's quite a few in there so people obviously book in advance um what if they're qualified and they don't book a demo i move into the qualified section um if they book a demo i then uh, i actually go into there i have appointments inside of go high level so they book a demo i book a demo in with a demo so i might go into this uh lead here for example go to book slash update appointment um, and I will then uh, go on to, I've got them all in here. So I'll go on to demo call. I'll book in the slot. And then once that's booked in, that lead automatically moves over to the demo book section. Um, and um, and then from there, I then just, I kind of move into the process. But on that demo is a Zoom demo. And I kind of, I, rather than having like a PDF, a lot of times I would be, especially with this industry, might be a bit different for whoever's, whoever's listening. If you're working with a relatively sophisticated market, then it's going to be a little bit different. But with our market, they are roofers, they're builders. Oftentimes they're in a van on their phone. So what I did was I turned it into like a, a link. So I used Go High Level. I kind of took my demo and turned it into like an actual link. So I kind of walked them through case studies um, and I kind of just build up a bit of trust. So obviously we've got Trustpilot, Facebook, and I walked them through all this. Yeah. And I just that's walked a, through a That's a crazy so page, by the way. This one? Yeah. Yeah, I, I recommend people do this because like, it's so much easier to just say to them, Hey, if you just scroll down, you can just, like, they might say to you, Oh, do you have any examples of this? I'm like, yeah, cool. Just scroll down on that page. And they can just scroll down. Like as a salesperson, especially in the service space, you need to be ready for any um, sort of situation. If they're, if they yeah. say to, you might get on a call and you're like, Oh man, I could definitely close this call right now. I don't need a demo. In which case I'll say to them, Hey, uh, it sounds like you're interested. Just here's a link, just um, open the link. And obviously I'm sending that link directly in Go High Level. So I'm just going into the con conversations tab and I can literally send them the link rather than having to send a PDF. Because a lot of times it's like, oh, you send a PDF, it doesn't attach or you can't send PDFs via text. Whereas if you just send a link, like there's no reason why they're not going to be able to access it. So that's what I do, which is this page here. And then I go through the service, which is just like campaign build, um, I, I you know, custom sales page, backend sales systems, um, and I kind of break down. So we use Go High Level for our clients' performance tracking as well. So I, I can do this because I'm not going to be giving away any personal data by doing this. But if I go, for example, into 
a customer here. If I yeah, and it's good system. because with high level you have um the tracking, like the reporting that's done for them. Like um yeah, you don't have to you don't have to get your media buyer to like report each time. Like it's literally in the software they can just log in and see how much uh how much they have in their you know worth of leads, how much they have worth of appointments. Yeah, so it's really cool. So you can see this client is a this is a garden studio company. Mm. Um they've closed a million since this year, which is it sounds about right to be honest. Um, ten percent overall conversion rate. I think this data is more or less correct. Um, because I have gone through it with him a few times. Two million of pending revenue and the million of of uh, lost revenue. So it sounds about right to be honest. Um, and That's so crazy. like, yeah, at a glance, I can kind of look at this and see the, all the important stuff. And it's, it's actually really easy when you're if you're trying to close deals. And let's say you've got a handful of clients that are making real serious money. If you have a way of tracking that revenue in either a Google sheet, a go high level, um, and, and it's legit. So when you get on demo calls, if I get on a demo call with a company that's an, like qualified. Yeah, you can just transparently show them like, here's how yeah. much they make. And exactly. it's Yeah, it's super easy, yeah. And then we have like over 40 of these like video testimonials like this. Yeah. It's like the easiest sell in the world. And they could say, oh, I'm, um, I sell, I don't know, flat roofs. I say, okay, cool. Well, we've got client here, client here, client here, all selling the same product. Um, let me send you their testimonials. You send it to them. The client's going, oh, I made 40K last month, 60K last month. Um, and you give them all that information. You, you show the product. You give them the timelines. I'm like, cool. Basically, this stuff doesn't really matter. Like, there's why there's not much information here. They just, they just need to see it. Like, they need to see yeah. it so they can see what you do. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, it's about performance. So I really am focused on saying to them, look, it's at the end of the day, we're going to fill your calendar with the amount of appointments that you need to hit the revenue goals that we kind of set out for you. So this information is kind of useless. Let's just look at the kind of stats and show you how this looks. And then once they know that, then you can work backwards from there. Um, and then once you ha they have all that information, they're like completely sold on you, basically. Um, you give them the price. Um, I won't go into the pricing section, but you give them the price and then you give them the guarantee. And our guarantee is basically it's a 30 day um, profit ROI guarantee. So if they don't make at least their money back in profit after their costs, after their costs of um, insulation and materials, um, we give them a full refund of their fee. Yes. So it's more or less like no brainer. Um, and it's, I look at the guarantee less of like a marketing tactic for me personally, more of like a closing, closing tactic. So um, I kind of yeah. wait to the end of that call before I even mention it. And then I mention it at the end and then it's like a no brainer. So um, closing retainers for us now is easy. And our problem isn't like closing deals, like getting new clients. Our problem is like growing our team. Probably like hiring systems, stuff like that. Yeah. Like scaling. And, like, business model, basically. So yeah. we're moving over to like a pay per appointment model. So hopefully no one pauses this. There we go. <laughs> um, so this model is kind of like a pay per appointment. So we get paid on every um, like qualified SAT appointment. So it's like 150 per appointment. So you can see here, we're kind of pulling all the data in. So 50, 50 appointments booked since we started with this particular company. It's like, I don't know, three weeks. And uh, we get paid 150 per appointment and we're just starting to ramp it up now. Mm. So uh, this is like the direction we want to go in, which is taking all the risk. Obviously you have to have the cash flow to do this. Um, yeah, but I no, I think it's a, it's a good idea because you can eliminate, you know, the the pressure of like being behind your staff in like delivering on the guarantee every single month, especially if you have a, a money back guarantee or like, yeah. for me, in my case, it's like a pay later model. Um, yeah, yeah. So like, you know, having it pay per appointment, it just, it just eliminates all of that. Um, yeah. And also like if, you know, depending on how your, you know, how your staff in, is incentivized <laughs> to get your clients results. Yeah. Um, you know, it's definitely like more scalable. I think it's a it's a good uh it's a good option for you. It is. And also it's these big companies, they don't care about your fee. Like it's not about money for them. They they just operate differently. So I mean it's simple facts is who who's gonna win the deal if you're going in saying to them, Hey, um, it's two grand a month. Um, I don't have much experience. But, yeah, pay me up front. There's no guarantee. Yeah, pay me up front. I can't guarantee anything. And it's a three month commitment versus yeah. me or you or anyone who's going and saying, Hey, um, we guarantee you're going to make at least 30 K of sales. Um, here's 30 people that have done the exact same thing as you and the exact same product, just different parts of the UK. 
Um, and if we don't do that, then we'll give you all your money back and we'll put it in writing. Like, who's going to close that? Obviously, I'm going to win that deal. Yeah. So it's like the agency space is too competitive now to not have a guarantee in place of some sorts. Um, and you also really want to truly understand the product you're working in. I mean, I've actually gone and worked with clients like and done sales appointments with them and close these deals and fall in love with leads on the phone myself, like to understand these products and really know how to market them properly. Yeah. So, and also I've gone to video shoots and I've filmed products and I've, um, we have our own brand that we advertise and stuff like that. So like, I know this industry super well now. Um, and Alex Ramosi once said it for anyone who knows who Alex Ramosi is. He said, um, something along the lines of, uh, how do you actually expect how you can't complain about your client's performance if you haven't done it yourself. Yeah. The fact that you obviously call and leads booking them in, that's obviously part of it too. Um, so I think people just need to take more ownership over the, uh, yeah. at, actually how good are they at, at doing this? How good are they at generating sales, generating revenue for this industry? How well do they know it? The better you know it, the better you are, um, yeah. the more money you're going to make. It's, it's, it's that simple. Yeah. Um, I totally agree with that. Um, you have uh, revealed quite a lot. And so we, we only have five minutes left. So yeah, no um, I think this was absolutely insane. Do you have, you said you were going to start a channel, right? I think, um, I think a bunch of people are going to want to see that. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave a link in the description for your channel. Yeah, and yeah. Um, yeah, what, what type of content um, do you have to promote on there? Or do you have to, you know, yeah. what are you going to be uh, releasing? Yeah, no worries. Um, I'll stop the share. So I am, um... I have a TikTok, a TikTok account, which has, I don't know, I think I have like 40,000 subscribers or followers or whatever. Um, I just post shorts about business, uh, sales, finance, stuff that I'm interested in. I have a YouTube channel. I haven't really posted much. I don't sell anything other than my company. Um, I don't sell any products or any courses or anything at, at this point. Um, I just do it for fun. And obviously down the road, I, I think having a bit of an audience might, you know, do me favors. So Yep. Yeah, YouTube, I I'm, I plan on posting more content. I haven't done much yet. I don't, I've got a few videos on there. And in my TikTok account, which is my TikTok, Samuel.Darby. And my YouTube is also, oh no, and my Instagram and my YouTube are both the Samuel Darby. So you can catch me on on all of those. Um, yep. More content coming soon for sure. All right. It was nice talking with you, man. And um, yeah, no worries. yeah. Uh, cool. maybe, maybe we'll do this again. I don't know. Um, yeah, no worries. Yeah. Cool. All right. Bye, guys. All right, so that was the interview. That was kind of an awkward ending, but make sure you guys subscribe to Sam's channel, which is gonna be linked in the description below. Like I said, Sam is also in the 300 Agencies private Discord. So if you wanna join that, we have a few spots left. You can only join if you already have a client and um, you use the same software as we do because we basically talk about how to use high level, how to use how to run ads to high level and how to set up different automation. So exactly what Sam showed in this video. And with that being said, that's going to wrap up this video and I'll see you in the next one.